All right, so it is 8, 10 a.m., which is 40 minutes after I wake up every day. It is time for the first meal of the day, oatmeal. I take a small pan and fill it with water for three to four seconds before putting it on the stove on high heat. And once the water gets to a boil after a few minutes, I then throw in the oats, which is about this much for me, and I change the temperature down to a medium low. I have to also set a five minute timer. Once that timer goes off, I come back to the stove, stir up the oats, and set another five minute timer. Once that timer goes off, I know the oats are done, so I just stick to the pan just a little bit. And then I throw up some cut up banana and eat it with a protein bar. I do not like eating a big meal first thing in the morning. It makes my stomach feel very uneasy. Oatmeal gives me that perfect balance of getting just enough food in me, give me enough energy for a good workout and a bit of protein without, you know, that whole stomach problem. I also do love starting breakfast off high in fiber. I cannot recommend that enough because if you're not pooping right throughout the day, you cannot do anything right. And then just a note here, I do have a slight dairy sensitivity and I also try my best to avoid eating sugars, which is why I stopped eating cereal for breakfast. Even the keto cereals and soy milk alternatives just didn't do it for me. Oatmeal really is the king of breakfast. After breakfast though, I do take my supplements. I take creatine, which is the most widely researched supplement for athletes, which has been shown to increase lean muscle mass and help with recovery. Then I take vitamin A, D, K. Vitamin D is so utterly essential for helping you keep your bones and teeth healthy, even your muscles as well, I believe. And nowadays, just nobody is getting enough. Vitamin A and vitamin K have been shown to help allow your body to take in more vitamin D. I take 5,000 IO, which is used to be like on the higher end, but nowadays new research has shown that it is the new recommended amount for adults. So those are the supplements I take with breakfast, and that is first meal of the day. All right, so it's now been about three hours since my first meal. I've either gotten an intense workout in or some focused time at work. So I'm gonna need to take in a lot more calories. I throw in about this much butter into a pan on medium low heat. And once it gets all spread out, I crack in four large eggs. I eat fried eggs because they're the easiest thing to make. And for all my meals, one of them take no more than 10 minutes and very simple. I also eat the same thing every single day, which might be pretty crazy to imagine, but I enjoy what I eat. Another benefit of eating the same thing every day is my pantry is incredibly organized. I use clear plastic containers for just about everything with a catch-all drawer at the bottom. When I'm gonna grab my whole grain bread and eat that with the eggs, I like my eggs sunny side up and once I take them out of the pan, I then toss in two pieces of bread at the time and of course throwing salt and pepper on the eggs. And that there is meal number two. There's gonna be a lot of people in the comments getting upset that I use plastic utensils and paper plates, but in my lifestyle, I just think it's very well worth it. I don't like spending the time to clean off my plate because I eat so many meals throughout the day. And because I'm a single person, I can't load the dishwasher up and I'm gonna run out of plates before the dishwasher finishes, so that would just waste water. But to make you guys feel better though, I did email the city of Fort Worth for permission to plant three trees in a park next to my apartment, right over there. I'm not kidding, by the way, it's called the Tree Forest, the Tree Grant Program through the city's forestry department. So I think trees would be a great way to offset whatever emissions or harm I'm doing to the environment. All right, guys, we are back in the kitchen again, and now for meal number three for our daily veggie shake. Every other month, I buy broccoli, kale, spinach, carrots, cucumbers, asparagus, avocados, Brussels sprouts, and asparagus in large quantities. Cut them all up, throw them in a trash bag, and then portion them out into these quart-sized Ziploc bags. That way, daily, I take about half or a third, actually more like a third of this bag, toss it in the shake bottle, fill it to the max line with water, and that's how I get my veggies in. I personally hate eating veggies with all my heart. I never like them steamed or broiled or inside food or like nothing like that. This is the easiest way to get them in because you just have to. The shake used to taste pretty good. Like not, I should, it didn't taste bad, but it didn't taste that good either. It was just kind of tasteless with a hint of avocado for the aftertaste. But once I added in the Brussels sprouts and the asparagus, it tasted pretty bad now. So I'm gonna toss those out in the next run, but sticking to those three fundamental ones, the kale, spinach, and the broccoli, and throwing in those other veggies is really just an awesome way to get your veggies in because they're super important. But try to avoid asparagus and Brussels sprouts unless you really like those. All right, back in the kitchen again for meal number three, salmon. I buy these in three packs from Target, which is where I get all my groceries from. 
they are a bit pricey and they are frozen, but the convenience because I already shop at Target and it's so close to me is well worth it. I toss them in the freezer once I get them and every other day I move two at a time to the fridge to eat as normal. Thing with salmon though is you do take it out 30 minutes before you're ready to cook it. Otherwise you get this cold, hard inside and hot out that looks a complete mess. So let's throw these bad boys, or this one, this one bad boy on the stove. Once I take the salmon out of the packaging, I wipe it down pretty well with some paper towels to get any extra moisture out of there. After that, I throw it in a pan with some butter and turn the stove on a medium low. I have a bit of time till the pan warms up, so I marinate the salmon in the pan just to stay when I'm gonna clean up one more thing in the kitchen. I use Kinder's Master Salt, which is sea salt, butter, and garlic, and black pepper. I do season pretty heavily because most of it goes away once the pan starts to get hot, but making it in the pan is just a lot more of a convenience and it tastes just as good as marinating in a separate bowl. I started incorporating salmon into my diet at the start of this year in an effort to cut out eating so much meat. I love meat, but I was eating like five meals of chicken wings a day, which is not that good for you and left me feeling a little uneasy. Salmon is incredibly nutritious, high in omega-3, which I have higher needs for and tastes pretty good. So I'm glad I did that. I'd used a bit more butter, butter than I would like, but it just makes the salmon taste so nice. Same with the egg, so I had to keep it in there. And that there is meal number three. So now it's about four to 5 p.m. I've just had salmon earlier, nothing to go with it, and I finished off work, so by now I am incredibly hungry. And it's time for my favorite meal of the entire day, tacos. To make the process a lot easier and much faster, I buy my chicken pre-cooked, throw it in a pan with some extra virgin olive oil which has, has some awesome omega-3s and antioxidants instead of canola oil which is just putting garbage in your system but everyone does it anyway. Once the chicken cooks, I put it in a separate plate and then I warm up for tortilla with some cheese in the pan. Once that warms up and the cheese is a little melted, I throw it in a plate, add the chicken as well as some salsa, sour cream, cilantro, and either some Taco Bell mild sauce or some Chipotle sauce, and then add some lime up there, roll it up, and that is my taco. Again, by far my favorite meal of the day. There's so many great flavors running through here, and I actually make this meal twice. So I eat one now with three tacos and eat one again in about two hours with three more tacos. However, the thing is, because I have an MMA on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays, I just don't have time to eat another meal. So what I do is I just make four or five tacos now, chow food, then they get me my energy for my MMA workouts. And yeah, that's uh, meal number four, meal number five. All right guys, back from practice and ready for my last meal of the day, which is Greek yogurt. This is high protein, 25 grams per cup, which is absolutely crazy. The other kind of Greek yogurts cap out at 15 grams, but all that for zero added sugar, just three grams of total sugar, killer. But I'm not gonna have one, I'm gonna get two. So final meal of the day. I don't normally like eating this much protein in one meal, but since it's just the yogurt and it's the last meal of the day, I'll have plenty of time to digest it overnight and oatmeal in the morning, I'll be fine. I also always bring a plastic spoon with me to eat it, obviously. And yeah, that's what I eat every single day. Hope you were able to take something away from this video. I think this is a perfect balance for me where I'm getting a good enough amount of meat, a lot of carbs, but it's also very adjustable. If I'm cutting or bulking and easily increase the amount of bread I eat, decrease the amount of eggs, it's like for the oatmeal, the eggs, the tacos, like everything can be portioned out less or more pretty easily. Uh, and that's what I like about this diet. Or this, what am I saying? I'm so, I had nothing left in me at this point. It was a pretty brutal uh, kickboxing session, but that's what I eat in a day. Hope you did enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one.